I have a, a follow-up. We were talking, and I, honestly, when I brought this up, I did not expect it to be the debate that it became. We got uh, emails. I have after-hours voicemails. People talking about the man or bear question oh, wow. oh, <laughs> that we had that we had on the show on uh, on Tuesday. It's taken over the internet the past uh, a week or so. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the the question was: This guy was going around and he was asking women, um, "Would you rather be alone in the woods with a bear or a random man?" Mm-hmm. Seven out of ten women said that they would go with the bear. Yeah. And I thought for a second, I'm like, all right, this guy just Somebody's maybe punking you. he like creatively edited the whole thing or these, these girls are joking quite, quite surely. There's no way that mm-hmm. uh, anybody would want to be with a wild animal mm-hmm. that could kill you with just one swat and boom, done. And then probably eat your body. Yeah. And I, chase you. That doesn't seem like, like endlessly. Anyway, I was surprised when I brought up here in the room uh, that Ravy, yeah. Sammy, Morgan. Oh, no. Morgan did not. Where is Morgan? Bring Morgan in real right. quick. And you know, it was Caroline. Caroline said... Didn't even have to think about it. Morgan. Yeah. Bear. And Easy. I was surprised. Easy. I was surprised. Rather they, be with a bear. They would rather be with a bear than a random guy. And you said, Morgan, you said that you would you would take the random guy all Yeah, absolutely. All day. And sorry, but y'all are insane for picking a bear. <laughs> well, well yeah. and Look. it's sad that that's your view on well, humankind. True crime. Know? Like... <laughs> No, yeah, I just, so, yeah. there are crazy people out there. Yep. Yeah, and but you don't why know not? which one you're going to get. All bears so, don't like There are plenty bear, of nice guys. There's but, also plenty of crazy people. Yeah, so take your chance with the man that you can speak English to. I'd rather to. take yeah. a chance with a bear who's just going to turn and walk away. So if, that's the thing. Uh, I not if you're in its territory. It's not. Because yeah. that's see, that was, what happened when I encountered a bear <laughs> in the wild. But see, that, that, that was my thought. It left. Was, at least with a person, you can communicate mm. with them. Yeah, doesn't, you help each other. Doesn't normally yeah. tell you he's going to kill you before he does. It just doesn't. Well, wow. Then you deal with that when the time comes. But yes, you should take your chance with the human being. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I thought. Crazy. I asked my wife that question, and she again no hesitation. Bear. Bear. Yeah. Wow. I know. Well, there's two things going on here. Number one, I don't think if you put an actual bear in front of a, a woman and an actual just random man in front of a woman then I'll f- then she'll find any random man to help her because there's a bear there exactly yeah. their answers will change <laughs> real fast yeah. that's and number true number two when they get to they get to say, they get to sound all proud and you know feminist by saying bear as well feminist how is that a feminist thing because well, you're saying that all men are pigs and suck that's not i mm-hmm. just clarified that that's not what i'm saying and that they are more dangerous the average man is more dangerous than the average bear is what you get to say an average man bear. alone yeah. in the woods yes <laughs> yes oh, again this goes back to the hype you guys don't okay. know what hypotheticals mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yes i do so here i got a uh, an after hours voicemail this is from uh, one of our listeners listening to alt 1051 in louisville and uh here's what he had to say i wanted to weigh in on the bear versus man subject uh, as a man, I thought about it from a little for a little bit from a woman's standpoint because I have a lot of women in my life. But you got to think about a man is scarier to women anyway than a bear because, first of all, bears don't always attack people, neither do men. But if a man does decide to attack you, what's he going to do? Probably rape you, probably you know cut you up into pieces, blah blah, whatever. Torture. If a bear decides it wants to hurt you, it's just going to kill you. It's just going to maul you. But, I mean, most of the time, bears don't maul people just because. You can kind of avoid them. There's 100% the the correct answer. Would you rather your daughter be in the woods and have an unknown bear somewhere around? (laughs) Or would you rather have your daughter be in the woods with a man that you don't know? I'm putting my daughter in the woods with a f***ing bear, and I'm teaching her how to survive being in the woods with a bear. So you got to stop taking it as an attack on you personally, because they're not talking about you. They're talking about the bad men of the world. So. Anyway, you'll have a good day. Right. Oh, God. Yeah. He had Agreed. me at the uh, the quicker death, but then when he's going into our... Again, I think what what we see is all men are evil is what basically what you're saying. No, right? my, my baseline on this is human to human. You can communicate with this person. You can't communicate with yeah. the bear. You can to get make the vibes. Clear, <laughs> I'm saying to make clear your intentions or to maybe talk them down because they're acting a little crazy or, you know, mm, that's what they say well, if you're in a... In a in a like a situation where you know uh, there's danger, you're supposed to try to uh, endear yourself to them, start sharing personal information uh, about yourself, or what it kind of get them to have some kind of. You could do that with another person. At least you have a shot. 
You don't have that shot with the wild. You haven't that's, listened to three hundred episodes. But, of my favorite. But better. that's I'm saying. But that like so that was my stance on it. It wasn't mm-hmm. like a, I'm taking it as an attack on men. I just think wild animal or another human being. I wonder if they would have a different response if it was a different animal other than a bear. Right, like, I, I, a, I, like well, a wild a, a, mountain let's say, lion. Mountain lion, yeah. Something that really, same response. really wants to eat you. A lion. Same response. A mountain lion. Okay. See, about that's cheetah. A, yeah. that's, she gets to sound proud and cool. Right. By saying that. that's, <laughs> it has nothing to do with feminism. Like we were saying yesterday. Like there's no nice guy headlines in the news. That's not the grabby headlines. And for me, it is the torture aspect of what a human would do. That's what it always was for me. I am more scared of being held and tortured and raped and all that stuff than I am of just dying. Oh, hell to the yes. See, that's what my my wife said. My wife said, well, you know, the person can torture you and it could be a long, drawn out thing, whereas a bear will just. The BTK guy wasn't nice guy. Kind of what this guy just said, like a, a bear will just kill you. But I, that's a, finally a clear, but the hypothetical good argument. Isn't, do we, a bear or a psycho killer? Right, it's right. just random, yeah, man. random just person. There. I'm getting. And yeah. Greg, it's, I, it's, uh, you, I think you pointed this out. Is it? It's just as if they don't walk around the rest of the day in right, public. Like, like when you're at the grocery right. store, are you surrounded by? But nothing as you but are psycho walking killers? around, you are hyper aware of who's around you and what's going on. Hyper aware. Yeah. You are, yes. Yeah. I, and I when other that. people are around, you feel that. more comfortable than when you're one on one with a strange man. Sure. Situational awareness. I believe that. Well, no, that, but again, mm. situ- again, be aware of your surroundings, but hyper aware. Hyper aware. Every person, if Depending they're a murderous the situation. Psycho, I don't believe that. I mean, not in the grocery store necessarily, exactly. but like but if you're. Like, yeah. I mean, you're I, just I guess, keeping an eye on things. Yeah. Around, like my wife won't stop at a gas station to get uh, gas after dark. Like if the sun has gone down. Like oh, it doesn't no matter. way uh, I'm getting gas but I'm saying, after it could be, dark. It could be wintertime, 5 p.m., and there's a ton of people around just because the, the, the sun's down. So she won't good. go. She won't go if the sun's down. Yeah, That's yeah. just like her unwritten rule for herself. Well, guys, I think we need to start Man Island. Yep. We just all go yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. It's all being gay, right, Greg? Yeah. <laughs> it's called being gay. Don't have to deal oh, with God. this crap. We, we yeah. get so lucky all the time. <laughs>